Helix is one of the first two projects funded by the European Commission in 2012, launching the FP7 Exposome Research Programme. Exposome Research is based on the recognition that major environmental hazards, such as air pollution and pesticides, may lead to serious chronic conditions with large societal and economic costs when individuals and or communities are exposed to them. Helix is building the early life exposome to understand the level of impact of multiple environmental hazards on the individual. Data has been collected through extensive fieldwork by six birth cohorts from France, Greece, Lithuania, Norway, Spain and United Kingdom, and three pregnancy panels established in France, Norway and Spain. So, science works by simplification very often, but sometimes too much simplification is dangerous. In the past, um, environmental epidemiologists have often related a single exposure assessed as a single time point to a health event or a disease occurring sometimes later. We know that reality is much more complex. In fact, we're not exposed to one, but hundreds of potentially harmful chemicals and the levels for many of them are not constant, but very, very strongly over time. In Helix project, we are trying to get closer to this complex reality by measuring hundreds of chemicals and environmental factors in 1200 European children, and by monitoring the temporal variations of some of these chemicals over time, in order to have a better, more accurate picture of how these Exposures altogether influence biological parameters and the health of European children. This innovative project is coordinated by IS Global in Barcelona, Spain, working with a consortium of 13 European partners. The institute is also host to the INMA cohort study, implicated in Helix, and will harbour the Helix database. This database contains exposure measures for outdoor exposures for a total of 28,000 mother-child pairs in Europe and will be available for use in future research. We know how much they are exposed to air pollution, traffic, noise, but also green areas. So when we want to understand how the environment affects our health, it's really interesting and really important that we do molecular measurements in the individuals that are exposed. This is because not every individual responds to a given exposure in the same way. The reason for this is complex, but to put it simply, every person is of course different based on their genetics, the part of their DNA that they can inherit from their parents. And we can measure the differences in their heritable DNA code, but this only tells us the potential for those genes to be active or inactive. It doesn't tell us what actually happens. That's why we need to make measurements in people's blood or tissue, looking at different kinds of molecules. And in that way, we can understand how each individual responds to a given exposure and the impact on their health. To understand and model these data, we created new mathematical and bioinformatic tools. This is thanks to the collaboration of experts within Helix from varied fields such as statistics, informatics, public health, biology and chemistry. These new tools allow the characterization of multiple environmental factors and their association with different biological biomarkers called omics and disease. Mainly the burden of disease of the different kind of pollutants try to assess and compare the impact of these pollutants between countries, this can help to the policymakers to prioritize policies to improve the health of the children around Europe. All other kind of policies uh, that we also include in Helix is policies like a walk to school, and we can assess the risk and benefits of this kind of transport policies in the health of the children to maximize the benefits and minimize the, the risk, to take better decisions in the European context. And what we were interested in looking at, it was how, what happens during pregnancy that will impact the weight at birth of the baby. And the birth weight 
is very important for the rest of the life of, a, of an adult. It's actually predict if you're, if you're small at birth, you actually have more chance to have chronic diseases later in life. So what happens during pregnancy that will affect the birth weight? Well, we know that tall mothers or like t tall parents will have bigger babies, but there are other factors, also environmental factors that will affect the size of the baby. And we want to be able to measure that in one snapshot. What we did is that we have a very sophisticated lab back in London where we could measure the chemical signature in the urine of the mother throughout pregnancy. We analyzed thousands of samples from women in Spain and looked what chemicals in the urine actually predict the weight of the baby at birth. And that informed us of, of quite a big variation of the population based on metabolism of some dietary compounds, but also just the general health of the mother. And we could predict that just taking one sample of the mother during pregnancy of urine. Now how that links to our project now in Spain, in Helix, is that what environmental factors affect these chemical signatures? Is there anything in the environment of the mother, in her environmental exposure, air pollution, chemicals in the food that also will affect the birth weight, but also other outcomes in the child. And that's what we're figuring out now. So in all, by learning more about the environment-physical health relationship, we hope to contribute to improving preventive disease strategies, which leads to lower health costs and a reduction of the environmental burden of disease.